Florida Panthers head coach Joe Quinville uh, resign uh, among or amid the uh, Blackhawks scandal. Uh, the NHL put out a statement. Uh, the Panthers put out a statement, and you know it. You can you can read it online certainly on Twitter. We have it on the screen right now for those of you watching on YouTube. But but DMac, let, let's get to this real quick because. We had a very emotional discussion with Katie Strang yesterday, and, and you saw of the athletic, and you saw her shook a couple times. You know, she held it together though; she's a professional. But if that didn't move you a little bit to hear people talking about it, I, I don't think that there are going to be very many people that stand up and say, "Well, you know, why why is Quinville no longer the coach or anything like that?" I think I think this was uh, the right thing to do. Let's just for once. <laughs> It was the right thing was done. Well, <laughs> 10 years later. Yeah. You know, the hardest part with this that I have is I, okay, I understand whether, and it's not about right or wrong, but during the, the even the playoff, but what, what, did, this doesn't go away. It's in your head. You know, everybody knows. So why doesn't this come out after you win or a month or a week or two weeks or whatever like this? I mean, also, oh, Rocky Wirtz came out, the president of Chicago, and wrote Lanny McDonald, who's the head of the Hockey Hall of Fame. Uh, you need to remove uh, Brad Aldridge, who's the, the accused sex offender and who we're talking about in this, who was a coach, video coach at the time, remove his name or exit out from the cup. But he was, a, he was convicted six years ago. So are we a little bit late on that? And now it's just about covering tracks or what? I, I, the thing that bothers me is that this is a black cloud that we're just finding out that's been there for 10 years. That yeah. has a repercussion. How much other repercussions are there? So, and, and you brought up a great point, right? Because during all this time, Guys still work. They still got paid their livelihood. And I, I forget how you phrased it, but not caring, but just be everybody just pushed it aside. Well, it was just business as usual. That's 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 so the thing. It, it's I, I just don't understand. Don't, and, and yes, it's a right thing that he's not there because, you know, you, you talk you brought this up when we were talking with Ronnie about leader of men. Joel Quinville's not a leader of men. No, he no, won a he won a Stanley Cup and everything like that, and that's cool. But is he a leader? No. Does, does a leader act like that? Well, especially when you have a quote of of what was said in the office when this was brought into him, and I'm paraphrasing, but pretty much said it's taken too much to get to this point. We can't, you know, we're yeah. not going to allow is that a leader? something. No, absolutely not. Because what what does a leader do? A, a leader a leader does the hard thing, man. The leader eats last. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's anybody. Not everybody can be a leader, man. It t it takes a, a some certain quality. It takes some human de. In this case, it takes some damn human decency, man. Yeah. I, I, does anybody I, like I, the thing going through my head is like, what? Why? Why? What was the big thing? So, conspiracy theorists is what does Aldridge have on somebody? You know, what's coming out like that's bigger that it wouldn't come out, right? I, I don't, I don't understand the logistics. All I understand is now. The you know the repercussions or things that should have happened a long time ago are happening, right? Uh, you mentioned somebody that you know you feel bad or out of anybody here. It's Florida Panthers, what they got into, and the, yeah, because the they're seven and zero and they're rolling right now. And, and this this has the capacity to derail a season through you know no fault of those players on the Florida Panthers. But you know what? It That's how what deep is. the tentacles are when right. you when you do these types of actions. Innocent people are going to feel the pain too. That, that that's what happens. Well, that's and, and for those right. of you, yeah, for those of you yeah, watching our YouTube channel right now, we have the Sports Center uh, tweet up there, and look at that man's face, dude. Joel Quinville's face. Look at that face, dude. He, not only now is this Blackhawks franchise uh, potentially get ruined, the impact on the Florida Panthers and what they're what they're doing, what those players are doing right now. There's going to be an impact on that. Well, that's the, that's that's the repercussions for this ten years. Yeah. Right, how much it, and it's gonna and I think it just churns everything else up because what happens when these things happen and and I know like uh, it reminds me of the you know the Harvey Weinstein or the or the Penn State or the whatever like this there's more 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 the only t the only time we don't get an answer is when it's the NFL right, right. because the, but that just shows you the power that they have so it's just interesting the chips will fall but. Uh, What's right is right. Karma is real. I don't know. Accountability, right?
Yeah, no, certainly there is. And, and I'm not going to spend, you know, it's Michigan, Michigan State Friday. Like, we're we're going to get yeah, into that. But we, I, had to address, we had to address it, and there's more coming out. We'll talk about it as, as we do. I can't thank enough for Katie Strang, too, who lives it, right? Is yeah. in the middle of it. And, and like you said, you put the – we watched Kyle Beach's interview, everybody who's watched it, and out of respect for the young man, um, it's uncomfortable, but I think you should do it for empathy um, and to understand. But – you know, there's more to come. That's that, for that, sure. that is a key thing. Tevsaw says it. I watched uh, Kyle's interview yesterday, and it was very hard to watch, but he's so brave on his part. And, and yeah, for empathy's sake, I, I would recommend you watch it and be prepared to be uncomfortable. But know that going in and then feel that. You know what I'm saying? Like, feel that in your soul. So, and, and, again, this story will continue to roll out, and a lot of you are saying that as well. This is only the beginning, and I want every single person to fall. Every single one of them I want to fall. Let's talk Michigan, Michigan State in a couple minutes.